the creator. Who's the creator? What's his name? No one don't know his name. You don't know his name? I said no one don't know his name. Ah, so God the creator, who's given you the ability to his speak, name. cannot communicate. That is you his have name. a name and everyone has a name, but God doesn't. Is God speaking to you now? Well, answer the question. Answer, I'll talk to God now then. You're saying so God everyone has a name, but you believe that God cannot have a name. No, you're he saying can't, that. Can't That's not what I'm saying. You're, you're, you're throwing in a red herring there. I'm, just, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm answering what just, you just said. You didn't answer my first question. Go on then. I said to you in 1 John chapter 5 verse 7. Yeah, I repeat. 1 John chapter 5 verse 7. Tell me what when you read the Vines Bible Dictionary, it says that the Vines Bible Dictionary right. tells you what words, what gospel words are. Yeah, yeah. First John 5 and 7 cannot be found in any manuscript, Greek manuscript, prior to the um, uh, 14th century. Do you know the difference between the uh, Greek so, manuscripts, the Sinaiticus? Well, a lot of them are Sinaiticus, but the, yeah. uh, one the of them is in the British, text, one of them is in the, the Texas Receptors. One of them is in the British Museum. You, you, well, try answering the question. You don't know the difference, do you? I don't have to know the difference. So you, well, you do. No. Because you've got to go right to the right. Do you know, more, do you know more than the Vines Bible Dictionary? His own dictionary. religion. No. His own religion is the white creator. Man, hold on. The white man speaks you know, with four here, tongues. Here we have a creator. The white man who speaks with four tongues. Through Every, everything you King just David, said, I never said. King David. Elijah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, prophets, regular people, and Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Paul. Okay, so he's communicated. Luke and uh, Matthew too. Huh? Luke and Matthew too, brother. And Matthew too. I've looked at Matthew too. Many times. What about Matthew too? What about Matthew One is going, and one Muslim, one Christian. Huh? One Christian, one Muslim. What in Matthew too? Matthew, no, Matthew is was the uh, um, Christian. Uh, Loken, Loken come uh, Ibrahim and Ismail. See, I'm not quite it's sure true. what you're saying. No, okay, you have to go get him. You have to go get him okay. now. And in the you gospel, know, what is the gospel? Like you you right, you know, the gospel is this. Loken and Believe Matthew. in the Lord Jesus Two Christ comes. and you'll be saved. Jesus died on the cross, not for a joke, not for a laugh, not as a mistake. He did it to fulfill prophecy. He knew that the religious hypocrites would strung him up on this piece of wood. And he would bleed for six hours on that cross and that perfect sacrificial blood is the only thing that will cleanse your guilty conscience you have a guilty conscience yeah you go back god to can zips. see in your heart in and your soul. And you, you have a guilty conscience now the reason it's why true. he died you on the cross is to, to take away your though. sin because you sin to have a guilty must be punished with sin must be punished with. Yeah. Right now, now you're preaching jesus a doctrine. You're died preaching a doctrine. and that's the end of the story you're preaching a doctrine no 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 you're preaching in a the book you will see you are 500 a skeptics saw him come back from the dead he's alive he is your creator he made you. You need to get right with God. You have a conscience with knowledge of what is right and wrong, and you've done wrong. You've done lots of good things in your life. I'm sure you've recycled your plastic and paper and all that sort of stuff, and you've given drinks to you know, your, your grandma, and you've given money to the poor. That's very good. But you've also done bad things. But here's the good news. God demonstrates his love in this, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Right, that says doctrine. that in right, not my doctrine, it's according to the Bible that you don't why, believe in. Why is it then? That, Many why, people why didn't believe in the Bible, you, like him, it comes to during the day, and they're going, oh, blah, 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 blah. We don't believe in the Bible, blah, 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 blah. Why is it that when you talk to religious people, they are the most intolerant, ignorant people going? I ask Who's you a question. intolerant and ignorant? When you go to the housing, or Who's you go, hold on, when you go to the job centre, or you talk to a policeman, you talk to them on a normal level. You're not communicating on a normal level, you're communicating on a religious dictatorial shape um, level. Anyone no. disagrees with you, you over talk them. It's called a dialogue, it's you called speaker's corner. Yeah. And when you have people that don't answer questions, I ask you a question you and you answered, refuse to no, answer you never it. Answered my yeah, question. and you kept on babbling and babbling. I'm not so, gonna listen to no, you. You've got so much I'm knowledge, gonna, but you can't you can't admit to the people that first John well, chapter what, what five and seven. That first John chapter five yeah. and seven is an interpolation into the Bible. It's not the original it word ain't of God. An interpolation. It was, yes, it is. According to the Vines Bible Dictionary, it's interpreted now, people, from the original on, Greek, which you, people you don't know about. This, they're going to go and check what I said. Yeah. Well, they, that the Vines yeah. Bible Dictionary. What did you ask him anyway? Okay. I said, do you know the difference between the uh, the old Greek manuscripts, the uh, Sinaiticus? Tell us. The Vatican. What? No. You, you just have to say, I don't know. I don't know. You can't, oh, wow. Okay. 
So he doesn't know. Okay, so you've got the uh, Sinaticus and you've got the Vaticana, which is the, the uh, Vatican, the old rich money bags Pope. That's what, that's the one that he uses. And that, so you'll get the Jerusalem Bible, which is inaccurate, very, very inaccurate. And then you have the Sinaticus, but then you have the Textus Receptus, which comes from the majority texts, of which we have thousands and what, thousands what, what, what of it, these texts. What makes it inaccurate? I mean, surely at the end of the day, people write Bibles, they write stories. I mean, if the Jerusalem Bible is inaccurate, yeah. how inaccurate is the Quran, for example, or the Torah? Okay, so all you have to do is you need to get a, a decent Bible, which is the King James Bible, accurately derived from the majority text, the Texas Receptus, and you compare it with the nearly Illuminate version, name which no is the NIV. Name no see, I call name, it nearly Illuminate. Can you name no scriptures that and you, you just will, mentioned? And you will see many, many, many discrepancies. So if God is God, and you can communicate very articulately and very specifically. Now, you didn't make your brain, God did. He's an absolute genius, and he can communicate very clearly in any language. So tell He's me able to write a book. David Beckham wrote just a book. <laughs> He's not the sharpest Hold knife on. in the drawer, is he? With all due respect. Now, with all due just, respect, just, I think we need to respect our Creator. You just deviated who has, from the who point. has actually you just deviated not deviated from the, from the point, point, but has because hit the point and said, you know what, you're a human being. But you know, there will come a time when people will follow a deception. And do you know what this great deception is? What you're doing now. It's evil. What, <laughs> yeah. Because it's the, called the, the, hold on, the evil dictionary says. Lucian. Hold on, check deception. this out. Yeah. I'm going to ask. Yeah, we don't want to hear you too much. No, you right. don't want to hear young the truth. people. You, you young people. Lucian deception. Well, do no, you, you believe? I'll ask these young people because I speak to them all the time. I've done debates at universities. Very interesting. Creational evolution. That first do you believe in the Big Bang? Seven can't be found in any manuscript. Believe in the Big Bang. Yeah, macroevolution, you know the difference between micro and macroevolution, I don't think you do. But you believe in a big bang anyway, by faith. What went bang, you don't know. You call it a singularity. What was in the singularity? You don't know. Sorry? No, the Higgs, Higgs boson wasn't in the big bang. That's not the, that's not the question. What was in this minuscule thing that was, four, that was smaller than a small, than a full stop, than a small thing, a full stop at the end of a sentence? And from that, we get the whole of creation, including love, You're justice. Quantum I have. Sorry, 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 I have. I asked a quantum question. physicist, I'll and they said it's ridiculous. Are you talking about science? Or that, you believe, that you believe in this infinitely small thing that exploded faster than the speed of light. It, it dissipated. It didn't disintegrate, but it produced light. Now, I lived in the Middle East for two years, and there were bombs coming across all the time. And every time the bomb landed, there was a big bang. A big bang and it created life. Come on, it destroys life time and time and time again. So you can be deceived by these pseudo-scientists. I know a whole, whole bunch of scientists, they've got PhDs, professors at regular universities. They do not believe in the big bang. They believe in the big ingenious designer, the great omniscient designer, G-O-D, God. He is great, he made your brain, he's omniscience, he made the laws of science and he's the designer. Now. Can this? Yeah, is it okay? Big Bang. It, it just. But it says on your T-shirt you pooed. Why are you wearing I pooed? Why, why are you wearing I? I pooed? Why are you mocking him as a Christian though? No, no, I'm not mocking. I'm just asking why have you got an I pooed on. Not that? only are you mocking him, why, why are you ignoring? Big Bang is just a theory. Let him, let him talk. Let him theory. Sorry. The Big Bang is just a theory. It's okay. Not, it's not, it's it a theory. Never, it's, yeah, he's never right. Even Here's another theory. That an, an ingenious that, that designer that we can the, who created the, your the, brain the, the, sorry, can communicate and write a book. The, it's the called the Bible. No, it's called faith. It's called the Bible. You, you, have, you, have, you, you can no, read. You, no proof of you read The Origin of Species. Religion, I've read it. Your religion is based Have you read faith. Charles Darwin's second book? Fact. Are you saying the Big Bang is an item no. of faith? Have you read Charles Darwin's second book? No, I haven't. I'm saying ask Okay, you. I have. Saying, the Very interesting read. It's called The Descent of Man. Are you saying science is kind of faith? Sorry? There are some items that people would accept on blind faith in science without, you know... Without experimentation. Exactly. It's not observable and testable, so therefore it's not good science, because that's what science means. It means knowledge which is observable and testable. Well, so if you're faith. believing in this knowledge, which is not observable and testable, it's not good science. Talking about that. Okay, then it's just by faith. Well, my, my, okay. friend, my friend's saying that... The omniscience God made you, you're not an animal, you have a choice. That's Animals live faith. by instinct, exactly. pure instinct. <laughs> you <laughs> can go against your instinct question. and you can make choices. To believe or not believe, that is the question. If you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who claimed to be the way, the truth, and the life, you will be saved. Why? Because he died on the cross for your sins. You're a sinner. 
wake up and smell something, not the roses. You have sinned. We have all sinned to different degrees. He paid the price for your sin. If you ignore that, you are ignoring someone who lived a perfect life in the Middle East, fulfilled 60 separate prophecies. 60 separate prophecies that were written hundreds, thousands of years before the event. He had to be born in Bethlehem. He had to be born of the royal line of David, the tribe of Judah. He had to live in Nazareth, dodgy town, Nazareth. He grew up in a tough place. Had to work in Capernaum. There's six. He fulfilled 60. Why are you ignoring this miraculous book, the only book that has the fingerprints of God? What are the fingerprints of God? This book was written by an English bloke, as you pointed out. This book was written by an English bloke. Yeah, Have so, you been watching Father Ted and the Vicar of Dibley? No. Well, why do you think the Bible was written you, by an you English said, book? You said, you said that it was written by... The, the, the truth book is written by the King James Version. No, the King James I, Version. no, 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 I didn't say that. <coughs> what I specifically said... Was written by Hebrews, what I specifically said was... translated was, into Greek and Roman. Yeah, the Romans were the oppressors. No, 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 not at all. The Greeks so you were Romans, the right information. The Greeks right information is this. So this yeah. book, the Bible is written in the Hebrew, Hebrew. Yeah. Ivrit, Bevrit, Animed, Bevrit. The Greeks and Romans were the oppressors, yeah? And, and what he's avoiding is... And from that, on, we have translations into English. Now, the most and, important and thing is, if you have the ability to read, is to get hold of this book and check it out yourself. I, well, the Hebrew version I would or the English recommend, version. I would recommend reading the book of Acts. It's the action. He's scared. It's quite incredible. Scared. What am I scared of, buddy? He's scared of the truth. Scared of the... Tell because me you, the truth. You just, How do you get right? You believe in this new question. religion that you've made up, and you think I'm going to believe that instead of the Lord Jesus Christ? You're a sinner. Jesus is not a sinner. Well, what are you? Yeah, he's calling his belief in religion, but there's a difference between yeah. belief and religion. What's the difference between a belief and a religion? Hold on, he's, he's trying to divert from. No, I'm from asking the, the question. Yeah. I'm not trying to divert. You mentioned, I'm, I'm he mentioned manuscripts. He said, "What's the difference between certain manuscripts?" Yeah, and I'm saying it doesn't matter what what um. It doesn't it matter the source of the manuscript. Can I finish talking? You've been talking for a long time. No, but you're, you're not making I'm, sense. I am making sense, but you're not letting me finish. Questions, and I will ask sensible questions. It doesn't matter what the manuscripts are because. Okay. He's making more sense than you. Actually. Oh, nice yeah, one. Yeah, do you, you think yeah, yeah. that by going to a church yeah. you will get right? Do you know why I'm making yeah. more sense You're a minority than him? Here. Do you? I used to, I I used to go to church. I'm a minority. And I was really don't care. Two plus two is four. If you want to believe two plus two is five, I'm happy for it. I just said, I just mentioned him that there's a Vines Bible dictionary. And in the Vines Bible dictionary, do you think that going to church or doing good things in the Vines Bible dictionary will take you to heaven? No. There's a chapter called First God John five and seven. Came down in the first of the Lord the Jesus Christ the into the Bible. Middle East. Yeah. He lived for he thirty-three years. He and was he very open, very open with all the people that were there, and he taught openly. And he died on the cross for a laugh. No, he didn't. He died on the cross for your terrible, terrible sin. You See, offer a couple of grapes and a, a bunch of bananas you're, you're and fruit and veg up to God, with, that's speak, not acceptable. You're, you're speaking with forked tongue. Sin, you, you haven't dealt with sin. Verse, are you a Red Indian, seven, forked tongue? You haven't, you haven't... Man speak with forked tongue, that's yeah. a Red Indian thing, isn't it? Yeah, Do you yeah. know where they get that from? Huh? It's the Bible. No, they, they, Double, they, get, they get you know it that? from the white man. Did you know that? Hold on, they got it from... Alright, don't ask the question. Europeans. Okay. Breaking every contract. <laughs> Who's speaking with forked it, tongue it, here? That's what I want to know. They got it from Europeans. So here's the thing, Jesus died Indian. on the cross for your sin. Game, and three uh, days later, over 500 people, they were skeptics like me. I'm a full-on skeptic, probably far more than you. Yeah, you tell me something, I won't believe yeah. it straight away. He knows yeah, that. I need some evidence, I need some truth. Some proof. He's alive. How do I know he's alive? Here we have it. Common sense. You seem like you've got a fair bit of common sense. Stop being rude. Think about it. You have Roman soldiers. You know about the Roman soldiers, yeah? They had to guard the tomb, this she, ridiculous she, she man called Jesus, who was causing all sorts of destruction no. in, in Israel. Israel. Okay, let's get rid of this guy, it will quiet him down. Guard the tomb with your life, Roman soldiers. We put a Roman seal on it, he's dead, we'll bring the body out and we'll say, look, stop believing in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, because he's dead. Now go home and play Scrabble. And, and another thing, Why couldn't they do the that? Of Mark, chapter, the Roman, the Roman guards who guarded 32, the tomb, they lost Jesus their lives. 
he was no gone. The, 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 the seal was broken. The tomb was open. He's alive. He's your creator. Why are you believing a delusion called the evolution delusion? Because you're brainwashed. Because you're ignorant. I can't help you. You're ignorant. You need your brains washed with the truth. Jesus claimed to be the way, the truth, and the life. Either he's the way, the truth, and the life, or he's a liar. What does, what does Tell me one thing. I will give you a genuine fake million dollars if you, and I've offered this many times over the years, if you will give me one single shred of scientific specific evidence for macroevolution or the Big Bang, or one thing wrong with the Bible, or one thing wrong with the character of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I will give you a genuine fake million dollars. It's not a fake fake. It's not a genuine genuine, it's a genuine fake. And I will give you this. Yeah, go on. Come on. Bible is fictitious. Come on, let's let's have it. What? Yeah, did you hear the word specific? Okay, the Bible's fixed. That's a very general, vague. Let's have something specific. That, that is it. It's, it's just a story. A whole bunch of people have agreed. Have you read, read the book? Have I read the Bible? That's what I just said. Go on, answer it. Yeah, I have. Yeah. You read the whole yeah. book. Have you? You've read all seven hundred and fifty thousand words. Have you? I presume I have, yeah. But you I mean, presume, you're cool. not sure. You're not sure when you were reading it, whether you read the whole book. You know, I've read the I'm whole book. I've read it a number of times since I was 19. When I was 19, for the first time in my life, I got a hold of the Bible. I turned off the Vicar of Dibley and Father Ted. And I thought, you know what? Me, myself and I, which I believe in, I'm not so sure about that. What is the truth? So I read The Origin of Species, read the Quran, and read the Bhagavad Gita's, and read the Bible. In the Bible, you read about a person who fulfilled prophecy after prophecy. This is the fingerprints of God. No one can tell the future and fulfill that prophecy apart from God. You, you haven't got a clue what's going to happen in your future. You can guess, but you don't know. This is a third. A third of this is prophecy. It tells you what's going to happen in the future. Have you heard of a prophet called Daniel? Probably not. This guy has a question. Okay. Daniel. Hello, sir. Is your name Daniel? No. Okay. His name is Zach. You know, I got something to say to you. Come on. Jesus yes. is lovely and lively. Uh, that's very lucky, I think so. I tend to believe it because I think your life comes from a life giver. I don't think you came from an explosion of a rock. I think someone loving made you and gave you life. Do you have a choice in your life? If someone gives you an ice cream or a lolly, do you have a choice? Yes, you do. So you make choices. Every day you make choices. Thank God for that. You're not a robot, okay? And you're not an animal. You don't just follow your instinct. You have a choice. When your mummy tells you something, do you have a choice to say, no, mummy, I'm not going to do it, or yes, okay, even though I don't want to? Do you do, you do that sometimes? You, what, you always, you just follow your mum, <laughs> no matter what. You have a choice, don't you, young man? Come on, preach it, preach it, brother. You know, I love robots. You love robots? Can a, lo can a robot love you back? Ah, come on, be honest. Ah, oh, you can love. I love. I love my mobile phone, but it doesn't love me back. Only people like your mum love. Love does not come from a rock. Rocks cannot produce love. A god of love who made you, who loves you, he gave people love and hate. You have a choice. You can either love or hate, and I'm sure you've chosen always good things. Have you always done good in your life? I just, I just Have you? Do it Has he? Has he always done good? Ah, you've been perfect, but he hasn't. No, he has. He has been perfect, like you. You've never done anything wrong. When I was your age, I'd done a few things wrong. Not everything. Have you ever been forgiven by, by of something? Oh, then you've done wrong. Okay, forgiveness is a wonderful thing, probably by your mum, who said, you know what, you did wrong, I told you to do that, you didn't, but I love you, and I forgive you. That's like God. God is prepared to do that for you. But you must choose to trust Him and believe Him. All you've got to do is trust Him and believe Him. You think there's a God, yeah? You think that makes sense? Yeah. I, well, it's, it's a little bit bigger than a chair. It's, it's a ladder, yeah. It's a ladder. Okay. You can. Thank you!
well, that, that's, that's okay, yeah. You're having a nice day and you're, you're designing shorts. You, you are designed like your shorts. Amazing, we have a designer, we have an intelligent designer. You, whoa, look under there. It's a, it's a crocodile. Yeah, teeth. You know what? Crocodiles, they are big lizards. They're, they're like Tanim in the Bible. They're, they're, they're big lizards, terrible lizards. That's what dinosaur means. The very big ones have died out, but these ones are still alive. And I've been to a crocodile farm in the Middle East. They were massive. Have you been? Wow, they're massive, aren't they? So, terrible lizards are in the Bible. They're called Tanim. They didn't die out millions of years ago. They died out thousands of years ago. The big ones. We still have the small ones. The salamanders, the uh, kimono dragons. Do you know what di dinosaurs were called 150 years ago? Only 150 years ago. Do you know what all dinosaurs were called? Dragons. That's what they were called. They were called dragons. Yeah, he's got the, the DVD. He's a born liar. Ah, born liar, because I'm a Christian. Well, isn't that a nice thing to say? Do you trust a man dressed as a Roman soldier who comes along and straight away calls me a liar because I believe in the Bible? He's wearing a costume. Who would you trust wearing a costume? He's not being himself. He's not being himself. He can't be himself, so he has to hide behind a costume. Look at him, look at him. He's embarrassed to be himself. Do you think he looks good? Or do you think he's in a skirt? Why is he dressed like that? Because he can't live in the real world. Jesus, on the other hand, lived in Nazareth. Nice to Bye, sir. Here, take this, buddy. Take this. It's a little uh, picture of a guy coming down in a parachute. Give that. Can you read? Can you read? Well, brilliant, because there's a good picture on that. And your brother can read, and then he can tell you what's in it. It's good news. It's about God who loves you. It's about a God who loves you. Do you go to Sunday school? Yeah, this is a Hang on, there's more pictures in this one. There's beautiful. Take this one. There's more pictures in that one. There's giraffes. Now, here's what. Here is what. <laughs> Young kids. Bye, sir. See you, Mr. Crocodile. This is what they tell kids in school. And here's a school book. I've taken from a school textbook. They say that 4.3 billion years ago, this earth was molten, burning rock. Really? There's no DVD, but that's what they reckon. It's a theory, okay? No life, it's all dead. And now we have all the variety of animals and you. From the goo to you via the zoo. Is that true? From rock to rocket scientists. Really? From a rock? From a burning rock? Who's delusional? Hmm. Where's the logic in that? Okay. I want to. I want to tell you about a super logical, a super super logical person who you have been told lies about. It's not me. I'm just a regular bloke from South London. But this guy is a super intelligent genius. Absolute genius. He never did anything wrong. And he loves you. Who's that? It ain't Muhammad, is it? Is it Buddha? Was he perfect? Did the Buddha, did the Buddha tell any lies? No? You sure? He's the Lord Jesus Christ. What does Lord mean? Master, it means in Greek, Gurios. In Hebrew, Yehovah. He is Master, He's Almighty. I want to tell you about the real Jesus. He came from the Middle East, so he wasn't a whitey like me. He was a Middle Eastern, and he had. Well, he didn't have grey hair because he was 33 years old. He had dark, short hair. He was a builder. He was strong because he was a carpenter. He lived in the real world. He knew what it was like. He knew what it was like to work. Do you know what it's like to work? He does. And he claimed to be God, the Son of God. Is he? Well, let's analyze. Let's scrutinize and then we'll realize whether he is or not. Tell me one thing wrong with him. Alex Ferguson. Tell me one thing wrong. Okay, God's given some people a good sense of humor, some, some people not, not so funny. 
sense of humor is a great thing. Animals don't have a sense of humor. They play games, but they don't have an actual sense of humor. We are special, made in the image of God. We have a choice, we have a sense of humor, and we have a heart. Have you, people say to me, I speak to many, many students, and they say, oh, we don't have a heart. It's just chemical reactions. So I say, right, your girlfriend who you're standing next to, you say, I love you with all my chemical reactions. You love with all your heart, or your heart gets broken when you go to the next funeral that you're gonna to go to. Your heart will be broken. You have a spirit, you're made in the image of God. Now, you have the ability to read. Read the Quran. I've read it, it's a small book. It's an interesting read. Read the Bhagavad Gita. Give it a read. There's a lot of writing there. You can read the Jewish Talmud, but I mean, that would take years. Read the Bible. That would take you a couple of months. Your life is important. You are not just an overgrown bacteria, which your school science teacher has told you. You are not just an overgrown bacteria. You're a human being, and one day you are going to meet your true creator. It's called justice. It's called judgment day. You will be there. Whether you like it or not, so will I. Why would I say I'm going to be okay on Judgment Day? I'm a sinner. How come I'm going to be okay and a lot of other people not? Am I better than other people? No, 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 no. When I was 19, I believed in the Lord Jesus Christ that his punishment took away my sin. I admitted I was a sinner. God, I'm a sinner. You died on the cross for my sins. You rose in power. You didn't RIP rest in peace you rose in power after three days like you prophesied because he's a true prophet a true prophet prophesies a false prophet makes no prophecies and fulfills no prophecies who are you following is it a true prophet or is it a real one who has fulfilled over 60 separate prophecies written over about a thousand four hundred years I'm standing like, here listening to you sir I said, I'm standing here listening to you what is that? What, what do you mean by he that? He said, well, who, what prophet am I following? I said, I'm still here listening to you. Okay, I'm not a prophet. <laughs> okay. I'm an evangelist, <laughs> which means a teller of the good news. The good news is this. You don't have to be walking around in the dark. I don't know which God to follow. I'm following a God, but I'm not convinced it's the right way. You don't have to be walking around in the dark. You can come into the light of the truth. Jesus claimed to be the truth. The way, the truth, and the life. Look at the evidence. I can give you a whole ton of evidence. That Jesus wrote? That Jesus fulfilled the prophecies, that Jesus is perfect, that the Bible is right. I can give you a whole ton. Against what? Against the Bible. Where's the evidence? If you're going to analyze, scrutinize, and realize what's right and wrong, you need to look at the evidence. Why? Why evidence? I, it doesn't undermine faith. I thought faith is no, the no, idea no, no, of belief no. in the lack of evidence. No, no, no. It's the opposite. Why? In the Bible. Well, because if you read the Bible, you'll see it's absolutely. Well, what's the point of faith if you have evidence that proves that you're right? No. Trust. <laughs> there's a difference between trust, <laughs> trust and faith. If I were to tell you, I was a professor of, uh, of English at, at Oxford. Yeah. Right. Would you believe that by faith? How about What's if I say, difference? how What's about if I say, just trust me, just trust me. There's no evidence, just trust me. I'd say, I don't know if I'm You'd be care. stupid. I was an English teacher at the Centro de Idiomas Oxford in Pamplona, and I was a professore de inglés. So I taught English as a foreign language. It's, I believe you. But that, doesn't, but that doesn't make me an English professor at the Oxford University. So you need to look at the evidence. I could show you evidence that I taught English in Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you would say, okay, on the basis of, the basis of this evidence, I believe you. Which well, what's is faith. the definition of faith? Sorry? Look it up, what's the definition? I don't know, I'm asking you, what's the definition okay, of faith? Okay, in the Bible, in, in Hebrews. Yeah. Okay, give it a read. I really recommend reading the Bible well, rather than just the watching uh, I, I, maybe I'm, Vicar of Dibley and Father Ted. I probably don't know, but my understanding was faith was belief in the nope. absence of absolute evidence. No, nope, not at all. Nope. So what's the point of it then? Huh? What, how, what good is faith if you if you if someone just shows you exactly what it is? Like if I say, that's an S, who would disagree with that? You're not it's not asking much of someone to have faith okay. to believe that that's an S. That's an S right there. Okay, it's, it's a 
subtle, it's a subtle difference, okay? You look at it, if I was to give you a lot of evidence, right, that I was a doctor, right? Um, you have a heart condition, say, and you say, I'm a surgeon, here are my credentials, okay? You look at the evidence and you say, I believe you, but I'm not 100% convinced. The final step is a very absolute, it's a sort of trust, faith step of faith, yeah. If you're gonna lie down on the floor and I cut open and I get, and I, Op op operate. You see what I mean? You look at the evidence. So wait, hold on. Are you saying religion then? Your religion is 99% evidence and 1% faith? Yes. 99% yes. 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 evidence and 1% faith. Yeah. Read the Bible. Like you a... haven't read the Bible. You haven't looked at the evidence. I have read the Bible. Okay. If you go to Israel, you can you can uh, see all the archaeological digs. All the all the archaeolo I lived in Israel for two years. Okay. And there were archaeological digs going on all the time. Guess what they found? David's palace. The walls of Jericho, they have found everything that backs up that the Bible is 100% evidentially, but historically, and scientifically the most accurate. Part is that Jesus rose, huh? and came, right? Jesus rose and came back. That's well, where's the, the evidence? I'm saying yeah. that's not that's that shouldn't be the one percent of faith, and the 99 percent is that that's, there's some archaeological. No, hang on, there is evidence. That support that. There is evidence that he rose well, from the so dead. Eyewitness testimony, but what I'm saying huh? is eyewitness testimony. Sure. Okay, but, of 500 people. But what I'm saying, and there people, were people that saw him die. Right there were people that saw him die, and they were, I'll put it in nice language, they were scared. Okay, they were scared. Oh no, our leader, Jesus the Messiah, he's dead. What happened a few days later? Romans, Pharisees, Sadducees, hypocritical Jews, if you want to kill us, we don't care. He's the resurrection and the life. He's alive. They saw him in power. What on earth? A bunch of skeptics who saw miracle after miracle and they still didn't believe. 